if you've been looking around and really digging in to try to find the best possible AK you can get for the money without mortgaging your home, the Palmetto State Armory AK-103 is probably the rifle for you. In my opinion, is one of the best AK-47 rifles on the market right now for right around $1,000. This one boasts a list of specs and features that is insanely impressive that you really don't find on most U.S. produced AKs. They've really leveraged what they're good at and reached out for some components to assemble the AK-103, and that clone really brings together all of the awesome features that you would want in an AK-47 at a reasonable price tag, especially compared with some other imported models. So they offer the AK-103 in three different versions right now available in stock on their website and a few other versions that are currently out of stock. You'll have to sign up for their alerts or definitely check out my campsite page. If you like this rifle at the end of the video, unfortunately I can't link directly to anything, but I can link to my campsite page, which is an aggregate site where I talk about all the best deals, post all the best deals, and you'll definitely want to bookmark that. And you'll be able to find some of the best deals on the AK-103 options on that campsite page. So definitely check it out after this video. They have the standard classic, which comes with the black plastic furniture. Then they have the side folding version, which is what we're looking at right here. And that's kind of what I'm partial to. And then they also have the barreled upper assembly, which is furniture ready. Now the price spans from anywhere from $849 to the uh, furniture lacking version, all the way up to $1,100 for the side folding version, but prices are always up for fluctuation. So you'll just want to kind of take all those prices into consideration if you decide you like something like this. And again, definitely check out my campsite page if you want to find the best deals on a lot of these items. With all that being said, this is one of my favorite AK-47s I've ever used, not only because of the specs and features, but just its performance down at the range, especially for that price. If you follow the channel, you'll know I love high value and budget options, and this one really falls into that high value category for what you're getting. Again, it's an AK-103 clone, and it has a forged carrier, a forged bolt, and a forged front trunnion. And that all kind of combines with the AK-74 style brake, which I absolutely love, gas block and front sight based. And this one also has an FN cold hammer forged barrel. So when I talk about PSA leveraging other companies, this is what I'm referring to. That FN premium chrome line cold hammer forged barrel is one of the nicest barrels I've seen on a US produced AK-47 and they're really taking it up a notch. I'm gonna kind of go back to all of those forged components along with that cold hammer forged barrel. When you're talking about a forged carrier, a forged bolt, and a forged front trunnion, what you're getting is a premium AK-47 that's going to outlast a lot of other US produced AK-47s, especially with that chrome line barrel if you happen to be shooting corrosive ammo. This is one of the toughest and nicest built US produced AK-47s I've seen, but you are gonna pay more for this than some other options on the market, but I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you like the looks and feel of an AK-103, but you don't wanna mortgage your home and leverage all your assets to acquire one. The sights are very traditional. Uh, they're the standard uh, blade sights, nothing to write home about, kind of standard upfront furniture. The safety selector does have a few uh, little additions like this shelf right here. It's a little bit stiff right out of the box, but it is loosening up. Then the trigger itself is going to be just a single stage, single hook trigger, and it's pretty decent for an AK-47. Again, nothing to write home about, but really good. The mag release is not extended. It doesn't have a large paddle, uh, but also it works really well. And these are things you can swap out, but honestly, it comes right out of the box perfect. About the only thing I think I'm going to do to this is swap out the grip. Now, I like the grip on this, it's not a problem, but I like some of the US Palm grips and some of the uh, more ergonomic grips on my AK-47, so that's probably the one thing that I will swap out. This one also does with the cleaning, come with the cleaning rod. I know a lot of people were fussing about the original AKs from PSA not coming with that. And this version right here is the side folder. And it does a very good job. You simply depress this button and it is a solid feeling stock with that cleaning kit hole in the back. And then it snaps into place and you don't get much wobble or rattle. And this is great for storage. In fact, when I was using this on the land, I took my side-by-side -side a few times. You can fold this up, stash it beside your 
passenger seat, stash it in the passenger seat of your truck. This makes a great gun when it's folded up and it's still 100% usable and functional in its folded scenario, but I do like it for storage options. I really don't shoot it much in the folded position, although you can if you needed to. Then you depress this button and fold it over. And I honestly think that this plastic stock is just done amazingly well. I know it's something about getting that traditional wood, and I really do like a traditional wood AK-47, but when you get this folding plastic stock with the sling attachments that locks up really solid, I feel like it's just a little bit more practical for everyday purposes. So this is a solid shooting rifle. It's been 100% functional down at the range. I also want to give a huge shout out to American Pawn and Gun located in Monroe, North Carolina for donating a lot of the 7.62x39 I shot through it. They've got plenty in stock if you're looking for ammo. So if you happen to be in Monroe, North Carolina, swing by American Pawn and Gun and check them out. Tell them 704 Tactical sent you over and they'll hook you up with some deals. So this shot, the Tola Ammo, the Red Army Standard, which I believe is Tola Ammo, and Wolf Ammo, Hollow Points, and Solid Tip just fine. This thing just ran perfectly and threw the shells out. I did check the wear inside the gun, although I've only shot about two or 300 rounds through it, and there's really no uh, undue wear or really issues whatsoever. And again, we've got all those forged components, so this one is really going to last a lifetime. On the opposite side, we do have the scope mounts. I will be mounting something to this in the future to test out potential accuracy. Uh, but really, guys, this has been a tack driver with the iron sights. I was shooting this out to 100 yards with iron sights, hitting when I was aiming at, no problem whatsoever. So the accuracy is there. I mean, this thing is built true, it's built square, and it's built straight. It is a solid gun, and PSA knows what they're doing now. When they entered the AK market years ago, their rifles were good, and they've gotten even better. Better, and I feel like this is just kind of the pinnacle of what they can achieve with that 103 pattern. This is really just a great bug out gun, survival gun, potentially a hunting rifle, uh, just a doomsday gun in general. It's reliable, it's accurate, and it just works out great. And with all of those forged components, including that FN barrel, it's going to last a lifetime. So I'm a huge fan of this gun, and I think you will be too. So if you were looking for a top tier AK-47, but you didn't want to spend two or three grand, coming in right at about a thousand bucks, depending on the model, this thing is really awesome. And again, check out my campsite page for all the best deals and linking, not just on this, but pretty much everything else I talk about on the, on the channel. You can be able to find that over there in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks to PSA for sending this out to try. I'm going to be shooting it a lot more, so you'll definitely be getting some more update videos.